do it. Whoa. Wake up, man. Is Wake Wawa up. over yet? Yeah, bro. It's over. It's over. Welcome to the Raw Review this week. God damn it, this, this episode was fucking terrible. It was awful. As always, I'm Stylin' Stewie, my broadcast partner. Luchador, Luchador Louie. Louis. So it opened up pretty fucking shitty. Oh yeah. We had a love fest. Between AJ Douchebag comes out. AJ motherfucking douchebag. Comes out and talks to us about Twitter. Yeah, I've been... So I've, gay. I've been seeing the tweets... And the social media people like me, who gives a fuck, man? And Roman Reigns comes out. Interrupts. They fucking, they just drool over each other, talking about how much they respect one another. Nobody cares. No. The Bear Club came out too. No, the Bear Club comes Nobody out. Cares. They're trying to build this stupid, dumb fucking rivalry. Nobody wants to see Nobody this. wants Nobody to see that garbage. Shit. And you know what? We're going to save you the time and effort. We're not going to talk that much more about it either. So, next, uh, we next had the segment. opening match. Uh, Kevin Owens came out with uh, to yeah. commentate on yeah. the match alongside yeah. the uh, Prophet the, Muhammad. The Miz, uh, uh, a.k.a. the Prophet Muhammad. And, A lot of uh, diehard uh, fans. He calls his fans the uh, Muslims. Still the, cheering him on. Yeah, the fanatics. fanatics. They don't let go of the old gimmick. They don't extremists. realize he's moved on to the Miz. They're extremists. They, they are hold, extremists. They hold on to those things they value so deeply, right? So yeah. they miss they miss the old Muhammad. What did we get? We got uh, Kevin Owens basically destroying destroying the Miz. Is awesome on commentary. Every basically everybody. Yeah, well, well, uh, Cesaro and Sami Zayn were wrestling until Shane came out and then changed the match. Changed the match. Classic Shane McMahon. Classic Shane McMahon move. And then Steph says, hey, "Yeah, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, same team." What Stand a stupid! Right what a stupid concept. First of all, let's what, put these like, guys who hate each other. On it. To, what's on the line in this match? You know, I was starting to like Nothing. Stephanie before this kind of garbage. No, what kind of stupid match is It's this? just getting dumber. It was a stupid concept. You had, it was basically like saying, you know what? Sami Zayn. That the four nails. horsemen thing in the WCW where uh, I think it was Sting who teamed up with Ric Flair against the other members of the four horsemen. It's stupid. The Ric Flair turned on Sting. Same thing happened after uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn won the match. Kevin Owens just went in, fucking destroyed Sami Zayn. Fuck up. Kevin Owens, though, man. Kevin Owens is the next big thing. I'm telling you right now. On commentary, not in the ring. Yeah, he's good in the ring, too. Uh, Jericho, uh, he said that Dean Ambrose, it's time to apologize for wrecking his jacket. Yeah. Yeah, I would say at least uh, at the very least he owes Jericho an apology for wrecking something I that would cost so fifteen thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. You know what? He said, Jericho said it himself. He's uh, he's a multimillionaire, but still fifteen thousand dollars. He knows it. Fifteen thousand dollars. He doesn't come. He comes from humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. I heard that Chris Jericho's net worth actually exceeds that of one Madman Pondo now. No way. Yeah. You know what? If you're making more than Madman Pondo. You have hit it big time. You've hit it big time. Maybe you guys have seen that Madman Pondo video of him pulling out his own tooth as featured on Tosh.0. I didn't know Pondo was a dentist. I did not know Pondo was a dentist. I didn't know either. I don't think he's licensed. We get, uh, I mean, we get our third match. We go, we get Carlito's old team. Supremo and Epico. And they start talking. They're not new. You're not new. You're not new at all. And you don't eat beans. Let's be honest. I eat beans. Yeah, Whatever. Let's build them beans. up. Let's build them up. That's as much as we're going to talk about Probably that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but at least we got Jericho that's coming out. You uh, know, yeah, He's giving the so. gift that keeps on giving. He's giving Jericho out. Asylum match. See, he doesn't really care. He wants one or the other. Uh, an apology or the money. Dean Ambrose is giving him an asylum match. I, I don't know if I don't you know were awake for where, that. Where it I was awake for that. There was nunchucks. There's a plant in there. There's a straight jacket in from? there. 
It's uh, it's CZW light, basically. Yeah. Uh, Diet IWA. Chris Jericho is a reasonable man. He just wants an apology and it's fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. Hey, hey, how about that Psycho Sid music? How about that what Psycho was Sid music that? when the the cage was dropped into the ground? Nice. Way to rip off Psycho Sid. Way to rip though. off Psycho Sid. And why not apologize? You're a great you a Psycho way out. Sid. Now you're going to have to face Chris Jericho in a steel cage. Are you going to be ready for that? Can you I handle that, Dean Ambrose? I don't think so. Can in Jericho the first ever, in the first ever Asylum match? I in doubt the it. first ever CZW light match? Yeah. No. Diet IWA match? You know what? I got something to say about tonight's episode. Why so many goddamn recaps? Why do we have so god? Why why do we have to have so many goddamn recaps? I just had to get that out. I was happy to see Bob Backlund though. Oh, Bob Backlund! You know what? Oh my! I laughed my ass off when Bob Backlund came out. Oh yeah, he was hilarious. Desktops belong on desks. Calendars on walls. Oh yeah, watches Bob on Backlund your wrist. Shit! Thank you, Bob Backlund, for yeah. fucking bringing some common sense to the table. God damn it, about time. Thank oh, you, time Coach is Bob right. Backlund. Keeping it real. Yeah, that's right. We had Dana versus Becky Lynch next, though. Right? Dana versus Becky fucking Stinky Lynch. Right? Right, he didn't even write that. You just didn't even care. You liked no. the ending, you didn't write it down, though. No, I liked the ending and I didn't write it down. I got something to say, though. I don't know that Dana chick. I don't know. Whatever. I guess. It was a boring-ass fucking match. It was a shitty match with a good ending, because I didn't see it coming. A uh, cut to the Golden Truth is oh. back together. Finally. Uh -huh. They had a heartfelt promo. I really didn't give a fucking shit about this. But, was, I mean, touched, you've been, you've been waiting for this been entire for this. time. Forever, like for them to get back together, and since we both don't watch fucking SmackDown, SmackDown sucks. But. SmackDown sucks, but apparently that's where they're fucking showcased, and we haven't been watching that shit because who the fuck cares about SmackDown? Bunch of promos, some no matches, one some edited, some edited cheers and boos. I don't want to watch a taped piece of fucking garbage SmackDown. But you know what, with those announcers on SmackDown, fuck, they're better than fucking listening to Michael Cole. Oh, Michael Cole is such I a I might bitch. just switch to watching SmackDown. We might just do Friday night reviews now. Yeah. Because I can't fucking stand Michael fucking Cole. Fucking Goldust is looking good. He looked awesome. He looked great in that fucking match. The he first pulled, part of the pulled a lot of shit really off. He, the first our truth came out. The first part, and then our truth comes out. He raps ah. for a bit, and it's like, fuck, this is the same fucking rap we've been doing since fucking 2012. It, it's Can lame. we move on? It's the same shit. Can we throw some shit about Goldust in there? Yeah, no. Exactly. Goldust gets his little fucking go intro with the movie, and then it cuts to him, our truth fucking rapping. Lame ass shit. Please break up, and let, let Goldust do his own thing, well, please. We we can't let him break up. This is the dream team. He could be the Intercontinental Champion if they, they just the, fucking broke up and they the, fire fucking our truth oh, but because of affirmative oh. action, they gotta fucking keep our truth for some fucking reason because he's lame as shit and he goes along with the plan and he doesn't mind oh, being a B-rated fucking me. player. Excuse I would place more money on uh, Fabrizio or uh, uh, Fan Dan Breezango. With the, whatever the fuck they are. The you fucking two dancers. Maybe Breezango did beat the Golden Truth They did Truth beat tonight. the Golden Truth. You bet your but fucking Golden ass Truth they did. The Golden Truth is going to get a little tighter. And they're going to get the tag team championship. Yeah, who knows, man. I don't know. I break don't, up. Break no, up. Gold Dust, no, go no, no, for no, that no. IC belt. Go for the IC belt, Gold Tag Dust. team titles. IC belt is as high as the you're fucking going. Waited. You guys have waited. You know it. Luchador Louis usually knows what he's talking about, not in this case particularly. Nah, agree to disagree. I don't agree. Our truth lost the match for Golden Truth. He kicked Goldust in the face. I'll let you digest when, that when for you were, a bit. When, I'll let you digest Luchador that. Luchador Louis is right. Luchador Louis is right. I'm sorry. Oh, still like that team though. The, the time machine booyo skit. Do, yeah. Do we want to talk about that? No. No, the no. pump that was that ball was getting good. I thought that fucking the time machine was hilarious. Kofi Kingston's coming out. 
He's saying 2000, he's back in 2009, SOS. I thought it was hilarious. He's like, no! The rest of the booty was pulling into the time machine. They're like, no! No, come back in! Come back in! He's like, no, 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 this was my best year! It's so, you know what? And there's a little hidden, hidden jab at the Budios by Kofi Kingston right there. Because he sang he that like 2009 Budios. was better for him then than the Budios is for him now. Can you believe that? He was an Intercontinental Champion, by the way, in 2009. He is what? He is a tag team champion with three guys. They share the belts. But you know what, I, you know what we call sense. that? You know what we call that where I come from? What? Communism. Do you know where we call that where I come from? What's that? The cookie game. <laughs> <laughs> not a booty -o. Not a booty -o. Not at all. Uh, but I'm sure if I was on the team, I would, you know, you'd you know, you got to give her, you got to give her what you got. You know yep. what I mean? Last one to come on the belt. That's how she goes. Yeah. Then you got to eat the belt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Club versus the Usos. Oh. Oh, With my their God. nice face painted up like Rowdy Roddy yeah, Piper like from Rod WrestleMania yeah. six yeah. against half Mr. black T. face, half black face. I didn't understand. Like, were, was it zombie face? I, I don't get it. I don't. I thought they were. What happened to the Roddy colors? Piper? What happened to the colors? I really like the colors oh, with the whole. I don't know. Like, hey, check us out. We're the colorful tag team. I didn't like them. Well, first but I understood who they were. Give those guys the fucking belt. Dude, this is this is them trying to bring it back, I think, maybe. This is Shane's attempt, because first we had Dean Ambrose with Psycho Sid's music when the cage is coming out. That's dude, right. Dude, Psycho dude. Sid was a and legend. Then, and then all of a sudden we have these guys. Yep. Yep, the fucking... You know, draw stuff like Roddy Roddy Piper from WrestleMania 6. Yep, yep. The fucking Usos. Usos. Yeah. It's like, I'm sorry, is that like a... No, I like the colors. Is that, is that a Hawaiian skirt or is that a kilt? Yeah, I don't you know. Yeah, fuckers. yeah, you guys are trying to fucking rip him off, right, Billy? Rip man. off Rowdy even Roddy Piper. Kills. Even the kill. He's not from Scotland. Rowdy Roddy Piper's from Manitoba, Canada, by the way. He ain't from Scotland. You listen to that accent. That's a goddamn northern Manitoba accent, and that's where he's from. I counted the amount of yawns that I had during this wow. match. Wow, how many did you get here? Eighteen. Wow. Eighteen yawns. I did not give a shit about this fucking match. In fact. When I saw that you were snoozing, I got a little bit jealous. I, right I, there. Wo I woke up to see uh, that fucking Roman Reigns Superman punching a bunch of people. Oh, how have they not figured out that he jumps in the air and he clocks his punch back, and like you can just just jump back? He does it every week. Just jump back. Get out of the way. Duh. I don't know. It's he, he jumps in time. He can't see him. He's talking. He gives, you a, he gives you a warning. He gives you a warning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit you with this. Simple fucking garbage. I mean, does anyone care? I don't know. The Usos won or something, right? Yeah. The Usos. I don't know. Yeah. How the fuck is Enzo still injured? It was a concussion. It was, you can sleep those off. Big Ass is the only one in, in this fucking soft team now. And what the fuck is he doing? He does like a retard. I will say, though, that Enzo is, uh, you know, his wrestling sucks, but his ability to melt this? Impressive. It, very impressive. Impressive. What Big Ass versus Devon Dudley. How is this a squash and who booked this? The match? only thing I liked about who this. Who booked this match? Was this uh, reverse affirmative action? This was reverse affirmative action in, in works right here. Big ass won against Devon in a squash match. In a match where he destroyed him. Called him Steve Urkel. Now, don't get me no, wrong. I, like, I love the reference of Steve Urkel. Me too. Don't get me wrong. Steve Urkel Mafia. Steve Urkel Mafia. Let Urkel. Big Cass win. You know what? Honestly, I don't no care. Way. Let him win. But make it a balanced match. I was... Ex honestly, this is yeah. this is one one of the matches, if not the only match that I was interested in, interested in the entire night. And that's when I was about ready to go to sleep, and all of a sudden, boom, John Cena promo. He's John Cena back promo! Save Raw! Yeah, now, one. listen, listen. I don't usually like John Cena. I think, I, I usually thought, you know what, this John Cena guy, fuck him. But what do they have at 
this point. Jericho. Who they Jericho. Who they mid card hard. I need to see John Cena come back, and thank God he's coming back in two weeks. Thank God. Finally, we won't have to deal with the stupid Roman Reigns uh, fucking thing. Yeah. I don't know. He's at least believable in that piece of shit role that he is. Yep. I can't. I can't understand Roman Reigns for the fucking life of me. I really fucking can't. I like Marky Mark Cena a lot better. A lot better. I like John Cena and the Funky Bunch. Fuck, that takes a lot to fucking say. Yep. You know, it does, but it does. The Mark Busters would kill us if they heard us say that. You know what? The Smart Busters are a piece of fucking shit. The Smart Busters, the Mark Busters, are a bunch of tiny little twinks. Who had their ass handed to them in our last promo video. They didn't even know what a challenge was. They can't handle the truth and they don't understand the concept of a challenge. They couldn't even take on wrestler Otaka. Fucking Otaku. Otaku. The, the, re the wrestling Otaku. You probably all know him as Pussy AKA Magnet. the Pussy Magnet. When you look that's out what, that's what most Pussy people... Magnet in Webster's Dictionary... You see the wrestler Utaka. Otaku. 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 Moving on. Uh, U.S. champ Kalisto almost falls on his ass. I saw him slip coming out. Slips coming out. And I was wondering... Lucha! Lucha! Fucking shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm looking at the time and it's... It's, wrong gotta, and it's gotta be the main event, right? You it's know, it, And then what else? They gotta do the... They gotta do the contract signing... He's fighting you, Del Rio. You can't have a contract signing as a no, main event because no. it's not a match. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It does not make sense. We have uh, we have Kalisto come out. His opponent is Del Rio. For some reason, Sin Cara is watching backstage. I don't even know why. It doesn't make Who sense. Who the fuck cares? I assumed Rusev was going to have something to do with it. And he did. Comes out, beats the shit, of, shit out of Sin Cara, which I loved, mind you. I did too. That needed to happen. And then he came out and kicked the fucking living shit out of Kalisto. It's about time they put over a heel. Putting him in the camel clutch. What a camel clutch, eh? Boom. I thought his back was broken. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Don't let me... I'm not trying to sell Del Rio short. He looked really good in his match, too. But Rusev, good job, buddy. Big good time. job. Uh, I don't know. Moving on. Yeah, it was uh, the contract signing. Uh, Ric Flair came out with Charlotte. I assume they signed the contract. I don't know. It was a contract signing. They're going to have the match at Extreme Rules. What real? What else can really happen in a contract signing? This contract signing was as boring as watching a Mark Busters video. It was. I was yeah. waiting for the fart sounds. Fuck it. What the fuck is wrong with wrestling? Oh, I don't know why. Why don't you give me a hand job? Oh, oh.